Well, hello. My name is Dr. Ralph Hank, and we're going to be working together with um, BUAD 220, and we're going to learn about um, Microsoft Excel and data analysis, a pretty advanced course, as a matter of fact. And um, I'm looking forward to working with you. I think it's going to be an awful lot of fun. This is an online course, so all the material is online. So let me um, share my desktop so that you see what all that really looks like. So um, this is a Blackboard course. So I'm going to assume you guys all know how to get into Blackboard, right? And here's the link for the course. Um, so you link on, click on the link, and it, of course, takes you right to um, the home page in Blackboard. <clears throat> here's the video that um, um, you, if you want to check out what I've just talked about, you can watch the video again. Um, here's the syllabus. Just take a quick look at the syllabus here. Let me get this out of the way. And we'll get the syllabus open. There we go. And um, Dr. Ralph Hank, here's my email. That's how you get in touch with me, is via email. This is an online course, as I said. I have virtual office hours every Tuesday and Thursday, from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Every Tuesday and Thursday, from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And it's an online Zoom meeting. So you come and visit me in my virtual office. I'll show you how to get there. Not very hard at all. And um, we can talk and look at some stuff and any of the work that you're doing. Um, the course runs, of course, from May 13 to May 31. Um, and it is strictly online. Your access to the course is available through Blackboard only, not available through the bookstore. If you go over there, you won't find anything. There's three units that we'll be looking at. Unit one is worth 200 points. Unit two is worth 1,200 points. It has a number of uh, modules and activities inside. And unit three is also worth 1,200 points. So that's 2,600 total points for the course. Some hard due dates. Unit one is due Thursday at midnight, 11.59 p.m. Thursday. Unit two is due Friday at 11, Friday the 24th at 11.59 p.m. Friday the 24th at 11.59 p.m. All the modules in that unit have to be done by then. If you don't finish a module in time, you just aren't going to get the grades. You're going to lose them. And unit three is due Friday, May 31st at 11.59 p.m. Same thing again. If you don't finish the modules inside unit three, you're not going to get the grades. So make sure you stay on top of this. There's a lot of work to do. It's a May master course, so might as well get down to it as quick as you can. If you want, you can finish the course in the first week of classes. Doesn't bother me in the least. Just keep in mind that you have three units with hard deadlines. This is when you have to finish them. Make sure you don't miss that. All right. Here we go. Let's get back to um, our home page. Here, remember I told you I have virtual office hours? Here's the link that takes you to my um, virtual office. On Tuesday and Thursday, 2 to 3 p.m., I'll be in my virtual office. Blackboard's a little bit finicky, so watch. You click on the link once, and then you have to click on it a second time. All right? I'm not going to click on it because if I do, it's just going to take us into the same meeting again. But here you go. This is where you click to get into my virtual office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Let's go back again to our home page. Here's the MindTap registration instructions. Everything you need to get registered for the course. All the information that you need. Here's the link to register for access to MindTap. Click on here. It'll take you straight to the Cengage page, or MindTap as they call it. 
and it will walk you through the registration process, and that's where you pay for the course. The course, because we're doing it all online, is actually half the price than if we use the textbook. So I thought that would help everybody out a little bit. And Cengage has beautiful training materials, which I think make it really clear um, how to use the material, make it really easy to learn. If you're not sure about getting to um, the um, access page or how to pay for the course, if you go here, um, you'll see that there's, well, wait a minute, I guess, for it to load, there we go. Um, and we'll wait a little bit longer for the, oh, there we go. They have a nice little video to walk you through how to register. I'm not gonna click on the video because you guys know how to click on videos, right? So there's nothing interesting there. Um, we'll just close out of here. And um, here is the link if you want to get a, um, a technical support ticket. And here's the telephone number if you want to call for technical support. They're really great, incredibly helpful, incredibly fast. All right. <clears throat> so let's look at the units. Unit 1, Unit 2, and Unit 3. Unit 1 is a review unit. That's why it's due a little earlier. This unit is to make sure that you know the basics. Unit two, that becomes a step up, and it's a serious step up. So you got to really start to concentrate. And then unit three is some kick-ass stuff that really impresses employers, and you want to make sure you really learn that. Let's take a look at unit number one first. All right, well, there we go. Due Thursday, May the 16th. The unit has three modules that you can go to, and the modules help you learn the material. I'll go take a look at those modules in just a second. If you think you know all about creating worksheets and charts, formulas, functioning, working with large worksheets and the like, you can go straight to the capstone project. The capstone project is where the grades are for unit one. And you just click on it like this, and we wait a minute, and we made another minute. Well, maybe we can have a drink while we're waiting. Oh, here it comes. And here it comes. There it is. And here is Excel SAM capstone project number one. You simply click Start. And it takes you straight into the into the um, capstone project. There's some files for you to download, and then you just continue into the project. And here's um, it talks about uploading stuff. It'll walk you through all the material that you need to know um, to get through the project. Now, if you um, get through the project, which you may well do, and get your full 200 points then you don't need to do um, these modules. If you do the project and you goof some stuff up and you go, oh my goodness, I better go and learn some of this stuff, you just go back to the modules and the modules will walk you through it. Let's take a look at the second module, for example. If you click on that, well, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Always make sure you have some Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi, there we go. Now, it provides you the module um, with access directly to the book. So let's say there's only one little part of formulas that you didn't quite get, right? So it was, let's say for example, you scroll through and you go, oh yeah, the order of operations, that's the part that I messed up. And then it'll just show you how to do it, and how the Excel formulas work inside the order of operations within it, which is not that hard, and here's a chance for you to read about it. You can always um, also go here um, and do this training if you want. And this training is a little different And we give it a minute. 
for it to load up. Well, we gotta be a bit patient. There we go, here it is. And it walks you through all the pieces. You can observe, watch them do it, you can practice it yourself, and then you can apply it and um, submit some material in the next ones. But here's another way that you can learn the material that's different from reading the textbook because everybody learns a little bit different. This module is always fun because it provides you with a little video of how you actually apply the material, if you will, um, in the real world usage, as they say. So each of the modules um, has the same kind of thing for you to look at so that you can learn the materials. Um, let's close, oh, one last thing. Um, the whole bunch of things that you can click on the side. Um, here's the full book if you want to read it. And here's a nice little function where you can do something called Real Speaker, and it'll actually read the textbook for you, like a book on CD or um, something you can just run through your um, phone, and you can then get um, the whole book read to you while you're driving or something, just in case you don't have time to read. But let's get out of here, and there's the three modules. There's some uh, link to data files. If you find that you can't find them, all the data files are here. They download as a zip file. I'm again pretty sure you know how to handle those. All right, so let's go back to the course content area and we'll see here um, that we have unit number two. That's a serious step up. Things change a little bit and you need to go through each one of these modules. You just can't avoid it. And if you go into the modules, you'll see that it's giving us a bad request error. Um, so bear with me for a minute. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back again. Um, I had to take a minute here to um, reboot um, my Microsoft, or not my Microsoft, I'm on my home machine, which is a Mac. Um, I had to um, reboot um, Safari. And that's because I just ran so many things. As a general rule, if something fouls up, just reboot your browser. Doesn't take long, and away we go. So let's take a look at the module here. And the module will take us in just a second out to the Cengage page. Here it comes. It's loading, 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 and here we go. Now notice we're in module seven, creating templates, importing data, and the like. And in these modules, if there's an orange dot beside it, there's a grade involved. So you must do these modules, and you must do the training, and you must do the exams and the projects. Now I've got it set up so that you can do each one of these um, three times. So you have every opportunity to learn the material and do really well um, on the course. Because I really want you to learn this stuff. And I've got it set up too so that when you um, do the work, um, you don't end up having to rewrite the whole quiz or the whole test or the whole module you, or the, the whole um, the whole project, all you need to do is go back and pick up the pieces that you missed. Because I'm sure you'll grab most of the stuff, you can just go back, get the pieces that you missed, and then fill it in and make sure that you get it right. But remember, you have to do all the modules. If you don't, you won't get the grades. And as you can see in unit two, there's one, two, three, four, um, modules and then you do the capstone project and you got to do each one it's not like unit one where you didn't have to do modules one two three for grades you just had to do the capstone project remember click into here any one of the modules and if we wait just a second here it comes again and there you go 50 points for each of those modules, 
then there's a mini project for the module that's worth 100 points. So each module is worth 200 points. So 200, 400, 600, 800, and then you've got the Excel capstone project, which is worth 400 points. That's 1,200 points for unit number two. All right, well, I haven't got much else to say. I'm confident you know how to use this. This is not rocket science. You guys are really bright, um, and I really am looking forward to working with you, and I hope you have a really great time um, as you're doing all this stuff. If you get stuck, make sure to email me, and I'll be very happy to um, talk with you via email or set up a virtual office meeting with you where we can walk through the stuff and we can even set it up so that we can look at um, your um, computer screen and see what's going on to see if I can help you. Anyway, have fun. Looking forward to working with you. Bye.